Victor Wimbayama might just be the best rookie that we've ever seen. And, okay, I understand that's a bit of an overstatement, but you get the idea. We're getting into the midpoint way of the NBA season, and one guy that has impressed me so much thus far is Victor Wimbayama. Of course, before I get into the video, make sure to like, subscribe, turn the notification bell. You guys help me a little bit. It would be much appreciated. I'm going to get right into it. Now, let me give you, to start off this video, let me give you some of Wimby's numbers against the best defenders in the NBA. First game, We've got him going against Giannis a couple weeks ago. My boy had 27 points, 9 rebounds, 5 blocks, and a steal. Next game we're going to go over. It's uh, him versus Rudy Gobert. Now, we already knew, of course, YouTube video that was leaked a couple years ago. We already knew that this guy had Rudy Gobert's number a little bit. He dropped 29 points, 9 rebounds, 4 blocks, 4 assists, and a steal. Versus Anthony Davis, arguably the best pure defender in the league when it comes to being in the paint. 30 points, 13 rebounds, 6 blocks, 3 steals. Jaron Jackson, 20 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 blocks. Mind you, this is a rookie in the NBA that is putting up these numbers against all NBA Defensive Player of the Year. As a matter of fact, three of those guys, except for Anthony Davis, have won a Defensive Player of the Year in their career, which is crazy. And I mean crazy to think about. I mean, my dude Wimby is already putting up superstar level numbers against four of the best defenders in the NBA. Now, this year, Wimby is averaging 19 points. 10 assist, excuse me, 19 points, 10 rebounds, and three blocks. And the last rookie, just listen, the last rookie to be anywhere, anywhere near those numbers is ironically Spurs rookie Tim Duncan, who in his first year averaged 21 points, 11 rebounds, and two and a half blocks during his rookie season. Now, if you're an advanced stats guy, and mind you, I'm a little bit of an advanced stats guy. I don't really use advanced stats too, too much, but I'm a believer in them. Wimby has a PR of near 20. The last time I checked, this guy had a higher PR than Paul George, Carl Anthony Towns, Brandon Ingram, and Pascal Siakam all have this season. Those are four all-stars. Paul George might possibly be a Hall of Famer. Wimby Nyama, as a rookie in the NBA, has a higher PER than Paul George, Carl Anthony Towns, Brandon Ingram, and Pascal Siakam. He's also just a little bit, just a little bit under Stephen Curry in PER, who a lot of people say is the best point guard in the league. I don't agree with that statement, by the way, but that's a topic for another day. Now, Wimby, a, a lot of people just, they, they go with the numbers, right? They say, you know, oh, these are his numbers. This is what makes him special, yada, yada. He's an average rookie. There's nothing average about Victor Wimbyama. I'm going to get away from the numbers for a second. I'm going to give you what I call a bit of common sense. What makes Victor Wimbyama so special, so intriguing to watch, so amazing? Wimbyama is 7'4", maybe even taller. He can handle the basketball. He can play out on the perimeter. He's already one of the better players in the NBA and has just turned 20 years old. And this is the worst version the worst version we're going to see of this man. This guy's only going to get better. And I don't think enough people realize how insane his ceiling is. Imagine Victor Wimbanyama when he's 250 and is able to get some muscle. Imagine him refining his offensive game that was already way more, way more advanced than I originally perceived it to be. Imagine when he gets that IQ, when he starts to be able to pass out of double teams, when he turns two assists a game into five assists per game. Imagine he ends up, um, imagine he ends up becoming the defensive monster that we all thought he was going to be, that we all recognize he could be. And partially he has done that. Not all the way, but partially he has. The point is, Wimby is not all we cracked him up to be. Wimby is better than what we cracked him up to be. He is better than we thought on offense. He is better than we thought he would be on defense. He is better than we thought he would be at staying healthy. He is better at playing extended minutes within an NBA game. If the Spurs just said, screw it, we're going to give Wimby the ball. I can tell you with the utmost confidence more confidence than I could ever tell you from a rookie, from any other rookie in my entire lifetime. LeBron was not born in my lifetime. LeBron wasn't playing in my lifetime. LeBron's rookie year was before I was born. So please exclude LeBron from what I'm about to say. 
What I can tell you with all the confidence in the world is that if the Spurs gave Wimby the keys right now, this dude would average 25 and 10 and would be an all-star and all-NBA level player. I can tell you that with the utmost confidence. The guy is just special. The guy just cannot be stopped on the offensive side. Nobody can contest his shot. The only thing that can stop Wimby are himself and injuries. That is it. If it all goes right, Victor Wimbyama is going to be the most unstoppable forces in NBA history. He's going to be a, a stifle tower on offense. I mean, excuse me, on defense. And he's going to be a nuclear weapon on offense. There is absolutely no way a seven foot four man should be able to do the things that Victor Wimbenyama does on the basketball court as fluidly as he does it. But he can. And for all those people, and I'm going to try and get my boy on a podcast uh, uh, soon, but uh, my boy Ricky said that uh, Wimby reminds him a little bit of Bull Bull. And all I have to say to that is Wimby's one-night production is equal to three good Bull Bull nights. Bull Bull is not as offensively refined as Wimby is. Bull Bull is not as strong as Wimby is. Bull Bull is not the defender that Wimby is. And Bull Bull also does not seem to be the worker that Wimby is. He doesn't seem to work as hard as Wimby does. What does it mean when somebody sees a player and trades him all over again? Bobo started in uh, Denver, was traded, went to the Magic, they got rid of him, went to the Suns, I haven't seen him play the last two games. Wimby is something we've never seen before, folks, and that's what I'm going to end on. Of course, of course, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notification, because tell me a little bit, I would much, much, really appreciate that. Without further ado, whether you subscribe or not, I wish you nothing but the best, stay love, stay blessed, I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching.